Good afternoon, family. How you doing? I'm Nadira, the product developer, CEO, and chief curator of Adiva Natural Skin and Hair Care Products. But um, I wanted to get on just for a second to say something about um, dreads and or locks, okay? As you can see, I sport my beautiful locks, dreads, joyfully and blissfully, and I have been a dread since the 90s, since 95 to be exact. I've been doing this for a long time, before it was a style, before it was cool to do, before you can get hired at a job while having these. Um, back then, the only people that had them were Rastas, people that were spiritually connected to a higher, you know, to get to, them, to their higher selves, to a higher being, they were just really, really regal. Um, or people that just were non-conformers, they wanted to feel connected and close to themselves in the most natural state possible. That was me. Um, before this, I had a bald head, well, a shaved Caesar. And it was, you know, hair has always been an accessory to me. It's never been something that I needed to look fly or be who I was. I never had a perm, you know. Anyway, people tell me all the time, your dreads are, oh, my sorry, your locks are beautiful. No, my dreads are beautiful. My locks are beautiful, whatever, you know. For me, the difference between dreads and locks are, locks are hairstyle which are fine because I'm so happy that we are now finally for, you know, for a while now embracing our natural state of hair. Um, and people that go to get their hair done, they go to stylists or locticians, which I am a former lactician, you know, they have locks. It's, a, it's literally a hairstyle. It's, you know, it's a natural hairstyle and it's beautiful. And it is, it is an awakening because I'm sure for some people it took you a long time to get to that place to feel comfortable wearing them. However, dreads are a state of, really a state of being, it's a state of mind. Nothing dreadful about them. White people call them dreads. Scared people call them dreads. And would any, why would we let them dictate what our hair looks like? And we completely change the algorithm or the, the language because of them, are you kidding me? I'm proud to be a dread. Again, back then when you saw another dread, you put your hand on your heart because we know what we went through and what we're going through every day because of what we have on our hair. We know how people looked at us. Not dreadful, but frightened and unsure, right? Um, you couldn't get a job. You know, your family was on your behind. Like, oh, you need to change your hair. You need to straighten it or whatever. You know, I was doing me. Most, most dreads were doing them, you know? And when we saw each other, it was a salute every time. It was such a love movement. It was such a connection. You know, we didn't have to speak, but it was a nod or a salute. So, you know, the whole dread thing and lock thing, you know, I wish that would just die down. If you want if you want to consider yourself a lock or dread, either one is fine. But I implore you, if you're gonna wear your hair in such a lock style, you should probably look up the Maui Maui tribe, the reasons why Ross has decided to wear the hair in dreads. You need to look that up because it's a beautiful story. It's a warrior story. It's a it's a magnificent story, something significant. So it's something that you should learn, especially if you're wearing your hair like this. Um, and then if you did learn that, you probably wouldn't care if someone caught your dread because there's definitely nothing dreadful about it. Um, but that's it. That's like my little two bits for the day is um, that whole back and forth. I'm not a dread. I'm not, I even see t-shirts. It's too much. It's like y'all doing way too much. And, you know, that's, that's really it. But, again, I'm proud of you guys for even taking the... Um, taking the time and the patience that it takes to actually lock your hair up because it's a beautiful thing in every stage and it seems like once you get past that two year stage it keeps growing it just stops my hair was just past my behind i cut it up recently to right above my booty then i cut it the other day well not the other day about four weeks ago right above my boob right it's already grown longer and i have a ponytail in now my ponytail up my hair is there now my ponytail down is, is in two in a month it's grown like two inches it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So I'm trying to get the courage to actually cut them off because I do want my Caesar again. And again, now my hair has been like this since the 90s. I've had an assortment of colors, reds and blondes and golds and browns and gingers. And 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 what makes it so dope is that sometimes I have bangs, sometimes I don't. The dreads that I cut off, I can sew them back on because they're mine, put them back on. I have my sides shaved off, but whenever I get tired, I can sew them back on. So having these are beautiful, it's so versatile. You know. So anyway, salute um, fellow lockups and I um, hope you have a great day, great afternoon, a great hair journey. And if you have any questions, um, you can definitely follow my page on Instagram, Adiva Naturals or Nadira Idris. That's N-A-D-I-R-A-I-D-R-I-S. And I am full of answers. You know, if you have questions, Nadira has answers, especially when it comes to skincare, hair care, your lock journey 
you know, dreads, just styles, gels, like whatever. I, I, you know, I'm, I've been, I'm in it to win it. I've been in it for a long time before YouTube, before y'all start learning some of the silly stuff that y'all learn on YouTube. <laughs> but anywho, um, talk to you soon. All right. Have a great one. Peace.